episode two is finally here of the office ultimate build. Now, inside this old computer, what we're gonna do is reuse the X79 motherboard, the uh, 3930K processor that's in there, and we're gonna also use the Hyper Beast by Kingston, which is 32 gigs of DDR3. And uh, yeah, it's my old workstation, and I really love it still. And it's also got a GTX 680, and uh, that's by Asus as well. And it's all like the top of range gear and stuff, but I'm gonna redo everything and walk call it, and it also has Mayhem's coolant in there. There'll be a link in the description down below because I want you to go and have a look at what this coolant used to look like. It used to look very beautiful and everything like that. But now it is like blood from like with oxygen from out your body. It's pretty gruesome. But I wanted to also just check the temperature. The temperature at the moment, would, I have got the side panel off on the back because it's got hard drives hanging out because I had a few problems. I never really done the cable management, never sorted it out. But inside the front, some of the fans, I think for the intake and the rear fans to do the, the dissipation, the heat, and the top fans are not working properly. The only kind of fans are working is on the radiators. At the moment, we can see that it's at 54 degrees. Now, this computer hasn't been changed in six years years with the coolant or any SSDs or anything like that or any pumps or nothing like that. I've always used Mayhem. I think they're super, super cool for all the colours and all the coolant and keeping the temperatures down. And at the moment my temperatures are at flux rate between 54 and 55 degrees. But that's with no intake fan, no exhaust fan. They're all like not working. They're at 140 degrees. The case that I'm going to be taking it out of is a Switch 810 case and I'm sorry to see it all like kind of get dismantled but it needs to have a new opportunity in life and needs to be revived. Now these components are really good, like GTX 680 is still quite a good uh, graphics card, especially for rendering, for CUDA cores and stuff like that. 3930K, super uh, still fast and still decent price. To be honest, for all the components that I'm using are probably still going to be around £2,000 in price. But between like 1750 and 2000 and that's just like using the CPU, the RAM, the motherboard and maybe the few of the hard drives. I'm going to spray up the SSDs as well. As you'll see in this video, you'll start to see the the progression of what I'm doing but everything you're gonna see all in one visual video is gonna be all done in one and from start to finish so it's gonna be sweet anyway let's stop talking and let's get showing So the coolant you're looking at is purple at the moment, but this used to be Mayhem's blood red coolant and it was, when I first used it, it was 28 degrees and now after six years it's 54 degrees uh, to 55 degrees and it should have been changed four years ago.
got everything sprayed white and red even for the motherboard and now it's to unmask stuff so my job is now to take all this off and yeah it may seem simple look oh yes that was easy that was easy uh, so I'm going I think when I put it on the front of the radiator so the radiator is here and it's in the front of the case it's gonna be planted like that so you're gonna see this black and then when it's at the top or at the back you're gonna see that Six years, this is over six years old as well. So, this is a uh, Liang Firmatec. I'm not sure I heard about this company years ago. I don't even know if they're still going, but the pump's still going over six and a half years. Crazy. <laughs> As you can see, the motherboard is fine. I spray painted it over uh, the VRMs and the choke and the chipset and stuff. And I wish I would have had a new motherboard to do it on because it was well difficult. I do not recommend this. I only recommend it on something that's gonna be a little bit more simple. What I was gonna do is um, actually spray paint the motherboard, but I'm glad I didn't because I don't know what I could have sprayed over and what I couldn't. I just didn't want anything to go wrong because I can't get this motherboard anymore. And uh, yeah, it works at the moment. Don't recommend doing it on this sort of motherboard because it was really difficult, especially these metal bits and these heat pipes. It took me a good, well, a whole day. I'll say a whole day to do the whole thing. I don't think I'll ever do that sort of motherboard again. I'll do another motherboard, not that one. But anyway, at least the motherboard's working and now I'm gonna just stick it in and get it water cooled. But this is like, I think like the sixth or seventh day that I've been doing this whole building, spray painting and everything like that, seventh day.
thanks to my girlfriend for helping me do all the bends on this because I wouldn't be able to do it without her. I would have had a nervous breakdown. And I'm not going to lie, it was really hard. When I actually, uh, I had an error code called 65 on the, the motherboard. And I was like, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? The RAM was in the wrong slot. It was, so I put in the black slot and it was actually meant to go in the red slot. So when I went to get the RAM out, because it's really awkward where it is, the last bit of RAM, I thought, oh, that'd be easy. Whack, straight into my damn face. Well, I nearly broke my jaw just to get the RAM out. Well, it was a little bit exaggerated. It did hurt though. Anyway, and then when I went to get the fan put in here, this fan header, um, I got attacked by one of the fan blades. And then after that, I turned the computer off, went to put it in when it was off, and then got one of the little fan header metal bits, prodded it straight under my nail underneath. My finger was going boom, 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 boom. And that was it. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? I was having so many problems with it. And those were the kind of the problems with it, other than the bends and stuff. Is it's proper awkward. Like you think, oh, the, uh, the 360 rad could go straight down into the pump or whatever. Everything lines up, no. You have to do a bend here, bend here, bend here, bend here. And that's what I've got to be thankful to having a decent girlfriend that had her head screwed on and helped me get this all done in one day. Now this computer is taking about a week to build because it had to be sanded down with all the rads and it had to be, I had to get the compression fit in some EK and then I had to make sure it was the right for the 12 mil because I was going to use a different type of piping. Actually, I tested it with a premature piping. Then premature is 12 mil, but the outer diameter was slow, slightly thicker and then the compression fittings wouldn't fit on there. So I nearly had a nervous breakdown because I ordered so many uh, 12 mil tubings and basically it didn't fit. And then it did fit when I actually used the right tubing into the compression fitting. So I was like, oh wicked, it doesn't have to go back. Now I was hoping that I could get a color that was very similar to what I've sprayed it to. So this is, uh, I think it's Ford ST color. And basically, I like cars. So I went with the paintwork and my girlfriend was like, she likes this color, let's go with that color. And then she designed everything basically. I didn't really design it. I'm not very good at designing. I'm good at building, but I'm not good at designing. So, well, that's a lie, I'm, I'm all right at designing. But anyway, she done all the design work. So every computer that you see with the colors and the color of the coordinate and everything, how it's color code and coordinated, it's all her. Have a girl in your life, they're really good at this crap, I'll tell you. Well, not crap, but it's good. But anyway, so all the fans have been custom painted. That's been custom painted. CPU is EK, water block, and that's custom painted. The actual um, screws as well and the springs, all custom painted white. The graphics card's water block is painted red, but added a little bit of black to go with the RAM sticks. So it's got 32 gigs of Hyper Beast Kingston RAM in there. Um, I haven't even put everything on there yet, so I don't know why I'm talking about this too much. But basically, all I really want is some ideas of what you think I should put underneath the bottom or what I should put for the SSDs. And here as well, I've, I've got the pump risen from the bottom because I don't want it to be stuck at the bottom. It's gonna to vibrate too much because the feet on here are not too great. And I don't really wanna change the feet. I don't want too many problems. But yeah, see where the pump is there. I've got a mandrel there and uh, like a Canon battery cover helping it up. But I need it to be slightly a little bit higher and I was gonna add these sort of risers, like four screws on there, but I don't know. I want some ideas. I need the graphics card is sagging as well. So I need a bar that goes straight in and it looks nice to go with the heat pipes and everything like that. And yeah, give me, give me, give me some help. Uh, obviously I'm gonna put combs on these as well and then that's gonna be done. And um, other than that, I've got a little bit of wasted space here. And I don't know what else to say about it other than I just need your help. So come up with some ideas and then I'll implement them into this build and yeah, show it off and that because it's got to go to all the manufacturers, websites and stuff like that and be shown around all social media. So it'd be good that you can, I can put your idea in and say, yeah, this guy or this girl helped me put this in there and all that and then your name will be mentioned. So that'd be awesome if you could do that. But anyway, I'm leaving the computer like this. I've already stress tested it. Not stress tested it, what did I do? Leak tested it. So I've done a soft leak test. So basically, you put all the coolant in and everything like that, and it was well and truly awkward. But as I say, girlfriend helped me with that. So 
that's another obstacle sorted. But anyway, I put the cordon in there and everything like that, and um, I left it in there for 24 hours, but before that, you gotta test it with the pressure and see how much pressure is going around in the loop. And then after that, it's uh, all about leaving it to leak test, see if you've got any leaks. Left all the paperwork in there to see if there's any leaks, no leaks whatsoever. I've had the pump on full blast, and I've just turned it down to the lowest at the moment. And I'm just gonna give you a little sound test of what it sounds like. So this is the lowest, but that noise that you're hearing is that little fan right there. It's not the noise blocker fans. It's actually that little fan. But on these new motherboards, you don't need to have that anymore. But I should have water cooled that as well. Uh, but it's too late now, I'm not doing that now. But anyway, have a listen. I'm turning it up gradually. And the reason I've got this is when I'm overclocking. So I'm not overclocking like mad. I can go really powerful on the water cooling. As you can hear, that's full blast. And you can see the water zipping around. Would be better if I could have something on there. So this is like gaming and video editing mode. It's just basically any animation I'm doing, I'm gonna keep the graphics card cool and the CPU cool. And I have my headphones on anyway, so it would make no difference. It's not super loud, but it's loud enough. But if I just want it on quiet mode, See, that is pushing the coolant round but very slowly, as you can see. It's a shame I can't do anything about that. That chipset thing, that fan, how annoying. Anyway, please help me with your ideas and I will implement them in there and you will get your name shown on there that you helped out with this build. Stay tuned for build three. Links in the description down below for build one. And this is obviously build two. Build three is gonna be, could tell you, but I'm not gonna. You'll have to just wait. And I'll probably put some pictures up on social media anyway, so you can see kind of what the progress I'm doing and what radiators I'm using. But all I'm gonna say is gonna be pretty crazy. It's gonna be a lot more crazy than this little puppy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>